Hello and welcome to ZSK do-it-yourself video series, where we show you how you can create embroidered, smart and e-textiles by yourself. In this tutorial, we are making this fun and interactive embroidered piano. It is very simple to make and can be produced on any ZSK embroidery machine with an f -head, so it doesn't require any special skills or equipment. We put together all components and embroidery files which are necessary to create this sample into a do-it-yourself kit, which is available on the ZSK online shop. The kit includes an Adafruit Circuit Playground PCB board, which has the embroidered piano firmware already uploaded, so you don't have to do any programming yourself. We also added a compact 20cm long micro USB cable, so you can literally plug and play as well as a sample cone of conductive embroidery yarn for the touch-sensitive piano keys and electrical connections to the board. You will also receive the ZSK transport code for this sample, which you can directly load into your ZSK embroidery machine. You can use any ZSK embroidery machine with a standard F-head to create this sample. This tutorial shows the production on a ZSK Sprint Classic embroidery machine. Use a frame of your choice with an embroidery area not smaller than 24.5 by 23.5 cm. Use any fabric you like with embroidery stabilizer. If you have a ZSK embroidery machine with a tubular arm, you can embroider directly onto a pillow cover for example. For the decorative details, you can pick your favorite 40 weight color threads and the corresponding needles. You can also use your standard bobbin thread for the whole sample. For optimal embroidery with a conductive thread, we recommend using a size 7511 embroidery needle. Now that we have all materials prepared, it's time to load a file into the embroidery machine through the TA terminal. Assign the needles to your desired color threads. You can see the current needle assignment here. Note that needle 6 is used for the conductive thread. The embroidery starts with the outline of the circular PCB and the cable. This marks the position where the components will be placed. The small circles mark the holes of the PCB board for correct orientation. When the outline is stitched, the embroidery machine automatically stops and moves the frame to a position where you can easily place the board. We use a piece of double-sided tape to keep the board in place during the first fixation stitches. Once the PCB is in place, start the embroidery again by pressing the start button. The frame will now move back to the position of the latest embroidery stitch. The holes, which are not going to be connected to piano keys, are used to fix the circuit board to the fabric with non-conductive thread. The piano keys are realized as capacitive touch sensors. First the conductive trace is embroidered and automatically connected to the PCB board. Here you can see how this is done in slow motion. Then the key area is filled also with conductive thread. These steps are repeated for all keys. We use satin stitch embroidery with standard embroidery thread to cover the conductive traces. This technique has a decorative but also functional purpose as it serves as an insulation and protection layer. For the thread, you can choose the same color as your fabric to hide the traces. It's time to bring some color to the sample and make it pop. As the last step, we're going to place and fix the cable. We left this at the end so the cable wouldn't get in the way during the embroidery. After the embroidery has stopped, again we use double-sided tape to temporarily fix the cable. However, this time we put the tape on the fabric, as this makes it easier to align the cable. Plug in the cable into the board and press it down to stick to the double-sided tape. Make sure that the cable is accurately adjusted in the center of the contour to avoid stitching into the cable. Then start the embroidery again and the cable is permanently fixed in place. That's it! 
Your smart textile sample is done. Plug it in and make sure that all connections are working. Then you can start playing your favorite pieces. Did you like this tutorial? What other Smart Textiles projects would you like to see? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to mention what ZSK equipment you have. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next Smart Textiles do-it-yourself tutorials. To get more inspiration and to learn what possibilities embroidery gives for the creation of Smart and e-textiles, check the Embroidery for e-textiles video on our channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon!